It's time for another K-Wing update. And normally in the month of August, it's the talk of affiliation. We hinted about it for the last two months and a little bit of a, a blockbuster announcement over the last uh, couple of days. The K-Wings will be two uh, affiliated teams in the East and the NHL, but it's not the teams that we had last year, at least half of it. Uh, we'll talk with Nick Bootland about that. Let's talk with the one that stays consistent, the Vancouver Canucks. Well, Vancouver's uh, communication with us has been tremendous right from the start. So they're, they're an organization that we respect immensely. Um, you know, Lauren Henning is an unbelievable contact for us. Um, he, he understands how this league works. He communicates very well. Pat Conacher probably watched us play 14 times last year, I would guess. Um, and, and he's been great to communicate with. And he's obviously... Uh, um, with Utica, so they really cover the basis with all leagues and and at both levels. And communication has been great. Um, the relationship with Travis Green, the head coach of the Utica Comets, has grown, and uh, he seems to be even more and more helpful um, as we get to know each other better. Kalamazoo Wings also last year were affiliated with the St. Louis Blues as well as the Chicago Wolves. The Wolves stay intact but the K-Wings will not be affiliated with St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis made a decision to uh, to, to go back to, um, I guess I can't say, I don't know if they've announced it or not yet, so I'll, I'll just say they're not coming back with us at this point. Um, it was their decision at this point not to come back with the Kalamazoo Wings, and the Chicago Wolves and Wendell Young uh, continue to be great partners for us. Um, Wendell is someone who... Uh, um, uses our guys, um, understands the league, communicates better than anybody. Um, you know, he's looking out for us when he's making his decisions all the time, and, and it's super helpful. You know, you look like a guy like Brett Ponich who goes up and, um, you know, plays a couple games on the weekend, and then uh, they fly him down to play a Monday game for us. You know, so he's helpful that way for us, and we appreciate him that. Like the uh, popular kid near prom, the K-Wings don't go without a date for that long. It seemed like hours after St. Louis made their decision, the K-Wings picked up another NHL affiliate, and it will be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Well, literally as the phone call was going with St. Louis, that they were informing me that uh, they were looking for a different spot this year. The, the exact same phone call I was getting beeped in from Chris McFarland, who is the assistant general manager of the Columbus Blue Jackets and the general manager of the Springfield Falcons. And um, he, he was calling because they, they were interested. They've done their homework. They feel that we're a good fit. We obviously do a little bit of homework on our end, and, and Chris is uh, very well known for being professional and communicating well with um, his affiliate. Um, he was with uh, the Chicago Express before with a, with a former K-Wing under the helm. As president there was uh, Wade Welsh. So that was a co phone call that I made to see uh, how they worked. And um, he felt that they were great partners with them. We did sign a, a two-year agreement with them. So we're excited to be on board. And, um, you know, I might be spending some time at their training camp as well. And the other part of that is that the only reason why it took maybe a little bit longer in that conversation, you doing your due diligence and the K-Wings doing their due diligence, not just calling uh, former colleagues of uh, the, the Blue Jackets, but calling your current partners to make sure that there was no surprises down the road. Well, absolutely. I had to follow up, obviously, with Vancouver and Chicago Wolves to make sure that they were aware that we were going to uh, to, to look at another option and that they were comfortable with it. And um, both organizations felt that uh, if I felt that I could handle it or we could handle it here in Kalamazoo, that uh, they let it be my decision totally, and, and we feel that it's a good fit for us. Uh, the red, white, and blue of the Kalamazoo Wings is now tied in with the red, white, and blue of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And if you're keeping track at home, there'll be plenty of affiliated action, at least to follow, not only in the NHL with Vancouver and now Columbus, but in the American League with Utica, Chicago, and Springfield. For all up-to-date information on your Kalamazoo Wings, head to the brand-new website at kwings.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, at YouTube.com.